I didn't stand up when every girl in sixth grade surrounded Lynn Snyder and Retha Phillips and egged Retha on. I was there in that circle, silent. Lynn moved away. I sometimes wonder how she is. I didn't stand up when dad wrapped his hands around my brother's neck. I hid in my room with a pillow over my head so I wouldn't have to hear it and so no one would hear me sobbing. I didn't stand up when Willa got pregnant junior year. She never came back to school. When I did see her two years later on a visit home from college, I didn't even say hello. I didn't stand up when my mom found the little book on homosexuality that I hadn't checked out from my college library. In truth, I still didn't know that I wasn't just wanting to understand this thing that I just learned about my friend Sandy. I didn't stand up when my grandmother moved in with her son, my original father, and call her anyway. I didn't know she stood up to my grandfather after every visit for the way he treated Ryan and me until after she died. I wanted to be like Sherry Garner, who I stopped talking to for a year after she bumped my hip walking into the gym. She came too close to the truth I didn't know. When a teacher told her to turn around, she got up, turned around, and sat back down facing the student behind her and continued her conversation. I wanted to be like Belle Boyd, Confederate spy, even though I was for the other team, who ran across a battlefield as Yankee soldiers fired on her so she could get vital intelligence to General Stonewall Jackson because she loved her country. I wanted to be someone who would have helped the slaves escape. I wanted to be someone who would have helped to hide the Jews. I wanted to be someone who would protect my loved ones from harm, but when my dad knocked my cat to the floor when she jumped up on my dining room table, I was frozen. Dad, don't. He half checked himself so the violence I was seeing in his face didn't land on her full force. I was shaking. When I told my friends about it later, I felt such shame for not keeping her safe in her own house. My friend Anna stopped me. She'd been on the phone with me when it happened. No, Jamie, you stopped him. I heard it in your voice. You were powerful. You stood up. <laughs>